Jerry Club and Ann Jarrett from the other. Ms. Kiana Rochelle Allen. Next up, Roshana Anthony. Parents Roderick Anthony and Monica Anthony. And in school, she is a cheerleader. Ms. Roshana Anthony. Next up, Alia Bird. She's here with her mom, Angelique Medesma, and stepdad, Sacramento Medesma. She is in band, GT, and Leo. Alia Bird. Next up, Alyssa Barrigo. Her host parents, she's an exchange student. Her host parents are Kathy and Nolan Johnson. Activities include volleyball, cross country, and soccer teams. Alicia Burjo. Next up, Caleb Clawson. Here with parents, Joyce Clawson and dad, Caleb Clawson. Caleb Clawson and in with cross country. Next up, Antonio Cruz. He's here with his parents, Antonio Cruz and Abby Cruz. He's a member of the band and plays football and soccer, and what a kicker he is. Mr. Antonio Cruz. Next up, Marlene Cruz. Parents, Juan Cruz and Alma O'Donnell. She's active in the band, FFA, and soccer. Marlon Cruz. Next up, the man that always wants to call his name. That's Keyshawn Easter. Keyshawn is with his parents, Sharif Washington and Frank Washington. Activities include football, basketball, and track. That's Keyshawn Easter. Next up, Melvin Evans. Parents, Abusia Griffin and Melvin Evans. And Zach
and hits Adam Lehman. Next up, to Marion Manning. And here's Terrence Kimberson and to Marion deals with football, track, and basketball. To Marion Manning. Next up, Brandon Mars. Here he is. Activities include NHS, Student Council, Band, Library Club, and One Act Play. Brandon Marr. Next up, Caitlin Marshall. And uh, Antonio and Vincent Marshall. Activities include cheerleaders, Secretary of the National Honor Society, Vice President of the Student Council, Leo's Club, three years of FFA, and Superintendent Student Council. Ms. Caitlin Marshall. Next up, Azul Medell. Jackie Medell and Victor Medell. And the activities are band, soccer, superintendent, student council, track and field. Azul Medell. Next up, Austin Moore. There's Dan Moore, a band director, and Marshall Moore Jr. Activities include NHS, student council, band, and FFA. Next up, crowd holding. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't say that again. Oh, Next up, Crowley Pierce. Activities include part of the activities with the athletic program and the National Society. Crowley Pierce. Next up, Haley Guadalupe Punk. Parents, Ramona Punk and Gerardo Pump, activities include student council and band. That's Amy Von Lupe Pump. Ruben Sanchez. Salva <laughs> Sanchez and Gilberto Sanchez. Activities include student council, band, library club, and yearbook staff. That's Ruben Sanchez. Next up, Jacqueline Stewart. Sharika Stewart and Harvey Stewart. And the Vice President of the National Honor Society, yearbook editor in chief, parent section of the bank, health program student council member, and lower group college person, Jacqueline Stewart. Okay, next up, Tayshawn Simon. Parents Monica Bacon and Jeffrey Rogers. Activities include football and basketball. Tayshawn Simon. Next up, Artesia Taylor. Parents Jennifer Taylor and Artie Taylor Jr. Activities include band, student council, and SCA club. Artesia Taylor. Next up, drum major of the band, Miss Mary Thuggle. Parents Stephen and Margaret Thuggle. Activities include four years of trumpet FFA, currently serving as president, former treasurer, three years National Honor Society, four years marching band serving as drum major, three, six years Piney with Leo Club, currently serving as local chapter president as well as district 2X3 first student and state 2X3 second vice president. Athlete in golf, member of the superintendent's cabinet, and employee at the Moosehead. That plug, Mr. Meredith Tuggle. And last but not least, Xavier Deshaun Walker. Lashanti Lapita Jones and Maureen Jones. Activities include football and track. That's Xavier Deshaun Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our seniors this year. Quite a few, and I hate to see all these guys leave out. But, uh, let's give them a big hand right quick. Okay, coming up in just a few minutes, as soon as all band members get back to the band, we'll be ready for our school songs and and then after that we'll have the uh, national anthem on the side of the stuff to get a ball game going.
time, please rise. Gentlemen, we're ready to dance. As we have our school song, first we'll start out with Cold Spring and then we'll have Crockett.
compared to the Lumberjacks of Dabo. I think you're absolutely correct. And, you know, when uh, when everybody was predicting who, what, and where before uh, the first uh, Friday Night Lights came on, Dabo was uh, predicted to win the uh, district title, Cold Spring second, us third, and I'm trying to think who the head is for. Might have had Elkhart for It's possible, or, or Trinity. I, I'm, I, I'm thinking it might have been Trinity, but nonetheless, uh, the Bulldogs are still in the hunt, but we're going to have to win one or two. One of two. Yeah, you, look, you look at the, I got it right here. The district standings: Die Balls five and zero, Cold Spring four and zero, Westwood two and two, Crockett two and two, Huntington one and three, Elkhart one and four, and Trinity is in last at zero and four. Right. So. Uh, it's going to come down, you know, us losing to Westwood, that, that hurts us as far as a tiebreaker. So it's going to come down to probably Crockett and uh, Huntington to determine who's going to get that fourth slot. And Trinity plays? Trinity plays at Westwood, then, then they host us. Right. So uh, a lot to be determined. Uh, not only will we uh, do the play-by-play tonight from Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium, but we're also going to keep uh, keep you abreast of what's going on uh in Atlanta, and I, and I heard that uh, there was the possibility of some some rain. So I will keep a we'll keep a close eye on that. And and Tommy, for what it's worth, um, I talked to um, Jamie Easterly sitting up here. You know, he pitched for the Braves, and I asked him. I said, "Okay, who are you going with?" And he said, and he put his thumb and his index finger and he uh, maybe a quarter of an inch apart and he said the Astros. <laughs> yeah, Jamie back when he uh, played for the Braves, uh, you know, my, my dad, my uncle, my and Marshall, they, they were real good friends with his dad, Boog. Yep. And uh, I know like two years, I got to go to probably 18 ball games. Oh, sure. Here comes the ball uh, out of the uh, tunnel. up in just a moment. Again, you're listening to the Batters Law Firm pregame report from Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. We're back in two and a half minutes right here on KIVY. As fall approaches, so does peak season for viruses. Hello, this is Carol, one of your pharmacists at Davy Crockett Drive. Let us help you prepare with COVID vaccines and boosters, flu vaccine, and cough and cold medications to keep you healthy this fall and winter. No appointment is necessary. We're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, and Saturday from 8.30 to 12. Come see us on the west side of the square or call us at 936-544-2275. Crockett Farm and Fuel, located on Loop 304 in Crockett. Crockett Farm and Fuel is your local Purina dealer and is ready to serve you. Crockett Farm and Fuel can serve large or small ranchers and weekend ranchers too. And Crockett Farm and Fuel is always ready to assist the pet owners, no matter the size of the pet. Crockett Farm and Fuel opens six days a week, Monday through Friday until 5:30. You know, we never like it when they call the penalty on our team, your team, you know. Nobody likes that, but we respect you guys out there 100%. Okay, I ask at this time, everyone, please, Ryan, jump on the loop. Yes, please. And we have uh, our national anthem. We'll start with our moment of silence, and then we'll have the national anthem played by the Crockett Bulldogs band.
Welcome back to the Batters uh, Law Firm uh, a pregame report. When it matters, call Batters. They will certainly uh, take care of you. Tommy, the captains for uh, the Bulldogs and the Trojans making their way out to midfield. We're about four minutes away from getting this one uh, underway. Let's look at game conditions brought to you by Crockett Eye Clinic and uh, kickoff again set for 7 p.m. here at Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. Currently 64 degrees, uh, winds out of the south uh, southeast at uh, two miles per hour, but they're uh, talking about the possibility of gu- uh, wind gust up to 30 miles per hour, but I don't see that uh, in the forecast. I think about the time that we're done, we should uh, possibly be, I think, uh, Tommy, somewhere in the, the lower 50s to uh, upper 40s. So, uh, it's supposed to be 42 degrees, I think, get up in the morning. That's exactly right, and uh, uh, I'll be getting up heading towards Waco to watch a little uh, Baylor Bears and the Texas Longhorns. If uh, the horns can't put together four quarters, it's Baylor good romp on them. Uh, you know, uh, Baylor surprising some folks. So, uh, sick them bears, and I know you say hook them horns. So, I got your little text message the other day. <laughs> but, I was expecting you to say something, but all I got back was a, a frown face. Yes. So, the captains is uh, Keyshawn Easterling, uh, as well as number eight, which is uh, Crowley Pierce. Crowley Pierce and Deshaun Simon. Yep, and Simon. So those are the captains for uh, tonight's broadcast or tonight's game, which will be broadcast right here on uh, KIVY. Again, uh, Tommy McTabor and myself, Ansel Bradshaw, and uh, we need to uh, start quick. Uh, real quick, recognize there's not a whole lot of seniors on this team, but it is senior night. They were recognized out here on the track along with the cheerleaders and the band. Uh, Number one, Tamron Manning. Number two, Xavier Walker. Number three, Tayshawn Simon. Number five, Keyshawn Eastling. Number eight, Crowley Pierce. Number 10, Tyreek Houston. Number 17, Braden Tucker. Number 32, our kicker, Antonio Cruz. And number 51, Melvin Evans. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seniors tonight. And, Tommy, will uh, that list right there, we will go over uh, during the broadcast. There's okay. a total of 31 that was recognized tonight. All right. That includes the senior cheerleaders as well as uh, the senior band members. And I just sometimes during breaks, you can sure. just mention a few of those. Getting ready for a Cutshaw Chevrolet kickoff as the Bulldogs have it teed up on the 40. As uh, we say special thanks to the Batters Law Firm for bringing you the pregame report live from Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. And once again, we can identify Antonio Cruz with the neon uh, lime, green. lime green shoes. And a uh, little, little squib going to be picked up uh, at about the 27-yard line. And Good tackle. the dogs are going to stand him up at the 31. That'll be uh, where Cold Springs will take over first and 10. And, you know, we'll just have to keep an eye on this wind, Tommy, because you can see the flags. I can't from yeah, my they're, angle. They're blowing hard, you know, out of the southwest. Uh, towards, towards the northeast more, 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 more than anything. I, I said this morning on the air, I said I really won't have to worry about raking too many leaves when they start to fall because most of the limbs with all the leaves fell down. I've got one tree in my front yard, and i got so many leaves in my front yard from other my neighbors. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, Cold Springs comes out. what we're going to see off the long. Night long. And uh, number eight, running back, he's going to be hard to bring down, Tommy. Uh, that's going to be uh, Luke Monroe. He's going to get about eight or nine yards, see where they mark it exactly. And this is what you call old-style old football. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of uh, Monty Jack Driscoll football. I mean, you just kind of get up under center and close. Uh, you're very close, and you put it in, pull it out, turn. Yeah, it's just misdirection. I mean, you, you Basically, I almost got to just tell you guys, if you think he has the ball, tackle him. Yeah, he has it I mean, exactly. I mean, you could put a drop a 20-inch hoop around the whole team right there. They're, they are very close. Fullback takes it, goes straight up the middle. He's inside pocket territory. He's gets low, hit from he the got back. Popped hard by 55. That's Easton Dean. That moves the sticks. Uh, they're down at the 43-yard line of the Crockett Bulldogs. And I think what we've seen in these first two plays is what we're going to see all night long. Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as Coach Springs offense, it's going to be run, run, and then maybe run a little bit more, and then maybe run a little bit more. And I'm not going to say. But I, I did see him warming up. Quarterback does have a good arm. So if they need to throw, they can throw. 
That's right, and I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. No. no. <laughs> of course, it's better when we're here at home. <laughs> that's right, the drive is short. Pitch back to number 10 once again, another five or six yards. And that's, uh, that's Easton Dean. From the 43 down to the 38. And five. Second down and five for the uh, Cold Spring Trojans. Again, coming in undefeated in district play. Luke uh, Monroe is the quarterback, and he's going to go over and get the uh, the play call from the coach. Uh, they don't, I guess, signal their plays in like we do, Tommy. And, uh, I mean, they probably don't have the five or six plays. That, that is eight, not five, quarterback. That, right. That, right. Okay. Uh, to, from my viewpoint, I think it's number eight. Again, jersey's very difficult, or number's very difficult to read, but it is number eight. Misdirection there to number six. He's going to pick up another first down, get inside the uh, 20, uh, 30 down. Yeah. Right, that's number six. That's uh, Kadarian Bookman. No, I'm getting to realize what you're saying. These teams have these hard numbers. To it's, uh, I, I believe this might be four eyeballs up here in the press box. <laughs> it's, it's us. Yeah. That's like when I go get my hair cut, my barber gets to where she's really good at only cutting the gray hairs. Because <laughs> that's all that there is. <laughs> First and 10, the ball at the 26-yard line of the Crockett Bulldogs. Just underway here at Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. Football weather tonight, though. Oh, it feels good. It hit somebody in this weather. Another misdirection to number six. Could now he's going to be tripped up at about the 14-yard line. Another first down. Yeah, the quarterback, he basically faked it to three different guys and gave it to a hotel wing back. The camera came around from the left-hand side and get a posse ahead of him blocking for him. Lucky we tackled him. I thought he was going to score. At uh, number six, again, is Kadarian Bookman. And they just eating up yardage. Yeah, they haven't had a third down play yet. They're picking up chunks. So, ball at the 12-yard line. They can pick up a first down by getting uh, to the two. Just, um, I mean, it's something to see. Just very old-school football. The quarterback uh, fakes it. He's keeping it. He's going to take gonna it in. in. Yep, he goes in from 12 yards out. That's number uh, 12, uh, excuse me, number eight, Luke Monroe, eight. on the end around. Takes it in from uh, 12 yards out. At the 8.30 mark uh, here in the first quarter, brought to you by the Houston County Electric Cooperative. Like water running or static? Near, no, near I, d I don't. Okay. I, I'm, I, mine's okay. Extra point is brought to you by Cutshaw Chevrolet, and it is fairly good, but it is good. So with 8.30 to go in this first quarter, again brought to you by the Houston County Electric Cooperative, the Trojans on top of the Bulldogs, 7 to nothing. We're back in 60 seconds. Whether you have a medical condition affecting your eyes or you just want the best value in a new pair of glasses, Crockett Eye Clinic is the only vision source facility in Houston County with the cutting-edge technology necessary to diagnose and treat any ocular condition. They also offer the latest designs in frames and newest advances in contact lenses. Crockett Eye Clinic with Doctors McCall and Castleberry is your Crockett vision source. Call 936-544-3763 to make an appointment today. Prefer carry out to delivery? Not to worry because you can carry out a large three topping pizza for just $7.99 from Domino's any day of the week. You can now also enjoy a three topping pan or small gluten free pizza at the same great price for carry out. Visit Domino's located at 1000 Loop 304 in Crockett or call them tonight 936 624 0111. Domino's Pizza, proud to support the Crockett Bulldogs. Getting ready for a Cutshaw Chevrolet kickoff. Uh, Tommy, the uh, Trojans never missed a beat on that possession. Yeah, they just drove it right down the field. The dogs got to come back with an answer. I think we might air it out tonight. I just got a feeling we're going to throw the ball a bit more than we did in the last couple of weeks. Well, I hope so. A little quick kick goes through uh, the hands oh, of the Bulldogs. And I we think got, we're going to recover it. I mean, we, we picked it up, bobbled it. They had a guy dive in. I thought he was going to catch it, but I think he scooped it up before he dove in for it. And number one, Manning, I believe, will recover it. Manning there to recover it. So Crockett will start out first and 10 at their own 33-yard line. So, yeah, I think um, 
we're going to have to we're going to have to do something. We can't allow them to control the ball and the play clock. Be a long night for defense that happens. You know, I like to see the dogs. You know, come out and play a strong, strong. I mean, win or lose, play a strong, strong game. Actually, we're we've only got one win on the season at home. It'd be nice to get two. Exactly. Handoff to number 19 of the Crockett Bulldogs. I think that's who was running that one. He ran hard. That's going to be uh, Chapman. I think they've called up some uh, 33 to the 48. Give him 15 yards. <laughs> Hardgrove Neal heating an air first down for the Crockett Bulldogs, and I think we're going to see some uh, some new players out there, Tommy, as they've called up some from the JV. Well, JV's winding down, and might as well get these kids up here, get them some varsity action, you know, because they're going to they're they're gonna need it. Year. Chapman takes the handoff. He's looking for oh, he some running skinny. room. He got skinny. He's going to pick up about first down, about uh, four yards. So Not first down, but I mean, pick up about yeah, seven. On yeah, the he kept calling four yards. So second down and six inside of a Trojan territory at the 48 yard line. Pink out tonight, also besides senior night at Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. We got back two to receivers Collins. to the right. Nine and 19, is that right? Nine and 19, correct. Two receivers to the uh, right, single receiver to the left. We got them all sides, free play. And right, see who's play. running the ball for the Crockett Bulldogs. He's going to pick up about five plus. That's yards. number 11. That's going to be Delane. So in the backfield is uh, uh, Chapman and Delane. Yeah, they'll take the family and get back to down. Should be second, about one. Because he picked up four on the first carry. Offside, Colfrey. So it's going to be, uh, you're right, Tommy, second down and one, the ball at the 40, 43 and a half yard line of the Trojans. Coach is calling in the play from the sidelines. Some of them down there in short sleeve shirts and no jacket. They they may want to get a jacket yeah, before it's probably, over. Before, before the game is over, they're probably going to find them up. A little bit of wind, windbreaker or a jacket for sure. Collins in the uh, shotgun formation looking downfield. We've got a penalty flag on the play. Collins breaking out of one tackle, but he finally goes down for a huge loss back to the 49-yard line. Yeah, there's a flag right out there just at the crest of the seat. Think well, maybe that's just a towel. I see something out there, Tommy, right on the white of the sea at the 44 and a half yard line. You see it? No. <laughs> All right, look at the 44 yard line. Yeah, see. see the black circle. Then you got the blue sea just on the outside. Okay, yeah, I see something. So, but I guess that's not a... I think that's just a shadow. Yep, Delane takes the handoff. He's going to pick up the first down, Tom. He's going to get down to the 41-yard line. Good run. Delane Another Hargrove nail heating an air first down. Cold Spring leading Crockett 7 to nothing with 6.30 and counting here in the first quarter. I like what I'm seeing so far. I do, too. Collins calling the play at the line of scrimmage and then he backs up into the shotgun formation. We got movement right here, so this one's coming back. Flag they blow the, the whistle. Going to be uh, illegal motion against our wide receiver. That's going to be uh, Houston. Tyreek. Yeah, what are you uh, how, you feeling good about tonight's game and all? And um, Atlanta. Atlanta or, or oh yeah, I mean, I, I'll t- <laughs> give me just after this play. I'm gonna okay. I'll, I'll I'll tell you how we lost and how we won the first two games. Well, you went to one game, so no, I'm just gonna... oh no, <laughs> I mean I got I got hammered over that. I know you did. I heard it. So Delane takes the handoff. He's gonna be stood up. Give him about uh, two yards. So, Tommy, I went to the first game of the World Series. First pitch is a home run. They go through 11 pitchers. It's a four-hour, six-minute game. We get in almost at 2 o'clock Wednesday morning. Work all day Wednesday. Absolutely wore out. Fell asleep probably at the second inning of game two. They won. 
<laughs> so if I, if, 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 I hey, if they get ahead in that, don't you go and watch it. You just go straight to the head. If I, if I start snoring over here, you just leave me alone and say, go Astros. That's right. Second down, Tommy in 14. Collins keeps it. He's not going to go. Yeah, he's not going to go anywhere. About a yard. Going to bring up third down and 12. Give him two. You know, we've had uh, seven offensive plays with seven rushes. So. Uh, and you said we were going to air it. Oh yeah. Well, I'm a pro- <laughs> That's why I'm working for ESPN. Done it, Done it, Done Third down and 11, a ball at the 42. We might see our first pass right here. Of course, I think we're in four down territory. I mean, why not? We have to be. Let it all hang out. We have to be, Tommy. And he hands off to Delane. He's going to get down inside the 35, down to about the 34. It's going to be a little short. Going to bring up uh, fourth down and three. I tell you, Delane, I remember he came on, remember, like, Last year, first first game, how he was so good, and then he just kind of disappeared. He's he's real quick. He gets skinny, and I mean he's not a big kid, but he runs good up the middle for as small as he is. Keeps those big legs a churning. So fourth and three, ball at the 34-yard line. Crockett trailing seven to nothing with four minutes to go here. Pitch out. Gonna is a great great call. I like the I call did. there, but uh, the uh, Trojans read it like a book, so it's going to be a turnover on downs. He's going to lose two yards on that, so uh, Cold Springs will set up first and ten at their own 36-yard line. Hey, we, we kept the ball for a while, kept our defense off, off the field, moved the ball, got positive yardage, so not a bad drive, even though we turned it over on downs. And that's how we opened up last Friday night exactly. in uh, in, in Yeah, I, you know, offensively we didn't look that bad in Dieball. No, you know, it was just uh, well, kind of snake bit. I, um, Coach Dixon asked me what I thought <clears throat> on Saturday, and I said I thought thought we played our hardest game of the year. I do too. I, I, I'm not going to disagree with that. And number ten takes the handoff for Cold Springs, which is Easton Dean. Yeah, I would not want to be the camera operator because you're going to guess wrong three times before you figure out who's got the ball. That's awesome. It, I mean, it's hide and seek. Reminds me, if y'all folks remember when we went down to play the DKR in Austin, state semifinal game, we played Sinton, and they had brown jerseys, basically the same color as the football. I remember Coach Monty Jack basically said, just tackle everybody. <laughs> Yeah, if they're standing up, lay them down. They missed the field goal, and we won the game right there. Go State. Big old boy. Another handoff. He hadn't carried the ball yet. I got to pick up his number. I'm thinking, Tommy, that's 40. number 44. I think so. That's number 44. Yeah, he looks, I think he's a line. I think he's a uh, offensive lineman just wearing a running back number. Ricky, Ricky Lewis. Lewis. Inside of Crockett territory at the 44-yard line. Three minutes and counting in this first quarter. We'll look at some scores around East Texas here, here in a few minutes. A lot if, of it's very if important it, game. If any of them, I mean, we're moving pretty quick here, T. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you. Hey, they're going to throw a pass. He's and they open. got a receiver wide open. He caught it. Good to catch it. Number 10. No, no he dropped it. Hey, it hit the I think he had it returned, and I think he dropped it and fell on top of it. Because it looked like a catch from up here. It sure did. Pass in the intended for Easton Dean. Trying to catch bring it. up second down and 10. Catch his sleeper. Yeah, like I say, in tonight, in Crocus District tonight, you got the uh, die ball off. You got... Westwood and Trinity playing each other, Elkhart and Huntington playing each other besides this game between Crockett and Coach Plain. So second down and 10. And a double wing set. There's the pitch back. There's got, the flag. It's got to be. got to be holding. I didn't see a face mask, so it's just about got to right be holding. So we'll see exactly what the officials call. Going to be holding against Cold Springs, so that's going to push them back 
bring up second down and 20. Line of scrimmage or from where it happened? Well, because he was about three yards downfield when they threw the flag. Coming back to the yeah, it's spot back. yeah, coming back to the 46. Just heard from Rusty Shaw. Crockett uh, ISD will host Madisonville and Palestine Tuesday night at 6:30 in round one of volleyball playoffs. At the uh, at the dome. At the dome. Mm-hmm. So volleyball action 6:30 Tuesday night. Crockett High School at the Hopkins Dome. A lot of running space there, Tommy. And you, you yeah, can come yeah. close. Number six, that he was a face back. And that's a face mask. Yeah. Flags are flying. So everywhere. you're going to add Flag on some flag. more yardage to that as number six, uh, Kadarian Bookman, takes the handoff. And he just was looking for any hole, and he found several to go through. It looks like L2 we got on, and Brandon just hit into double plus. So two outs already at the top of the first. So, penalty is going to be marked off from the Bulldog 30. And going to go down to the 15-yard line. So, it'll be first and 10 for the Trojans. So, that play started at the 40, uh, 46. And goes all the way down and ends up at our 15th. 125 and counting here in the first quarter. Again, brought to you by the Houston County Electric Cooperative. They just hand off, hand off, hand off, and number 10, number 10, uh, Dean is going to take it in from 15 yards out. That puts the Trojans up 13 to nothing with a 140 to go here before, uh, or 140 to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, he, yeah. Just, he just like a, like a bowling ball, just banging off guys. Yeah, absolutely. Should have been several tackles if we're not made. Getting ready for the Cutshaw Chevrolet extra point. The first one barely went through, although it did. Nice Ooh, this one's not tough. gonna make it. He hit the top of the football instead of the bottom. Extra point, no so good. that extra point is no good. So with 141 to go in the first quarter, Cold Springs leads Crockett 13 to nothing. We're back in 60 seconds. For more than 50 years, the fine folks at Volcraft, a division of the Nucor Corporation in Grapeland, manufacturer of steel joists, deck, and grading, has been supporting the youth of this community. Volcraft realizes that investing in the youth of this great community is an investment in each and every person. The employees of Volcraft, a division of the Nucor Corporation in Grapeland, would like to take this time to encourage you to get out and support your local community and the activities that your children are a part of. Volcraft a division of the Nucor Corporation. Nothing feels better in a football game than cheering for a touchdown. You can grab some cheers of your own when you score with Knox Furniture. New furniture, updated appliances, replaced flooring, and comfy new mattresses will make the home team happy. Friendly hometown service, honest prices, free delivery, easy financing. Come see why we've been on the winning team since 1927. Knox Furniture, downtown Crockett. Welcome back to Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. Tommy, a 13-point lead here by the Trojans. They're kicking off. We we can't let them get up by 20. We're, we're okay right now, but we've got to come down and score. Another pooch kick, here. yep. Onside kick, pooch kick. They're just looking to try to get us to make a mistake and then get a, a, an easy turnover. As a Chapman... Good hands there, just gets on it, lays down on it. So Crockett will start off first and 10 at their 46. But uh, we need to take care of business here. You know, we haven't been in the end zone now in over uh, 65 or 6 quarters. So I'm not sure we scored in the last quarter against uh, Westwood. I don't believe we did. I don't, I don't think so, Tommy. Keyshawn. Got a penalty. Flag. Easterling uh, has his hand wrapped up from an incident last Friday okay. night in die ball. It's going to be holding against the Bulldogs. So it's going to push them back 10 yards. And just real quick, uh, some quick scoring. Uh, Alto leading Grove to 6 to nothing. Lovelady leading Cushing 8 to nothing. 
A big game over west of us, Centerville Normandy. And Centerville leading 13 to nothing halfway through the first quarter. And Grapeland and Leon right now are tied 6 6. And Elkhart leading Huntington 8 0. I'm going to tell you, Centerville's going to be a handful in the playoffs, Tommy. I tell you, they're, they're pretty salty. They, they, they put, kind of put it on Grapeland last week. Probably a little bit worse than they should have, but they put it on Grapeland. Centerville is going to be tough to deal with in the playoffs. Second, or first down and 20. Easterling takes the handoff, goes straight up the middle. Six yards. Yep, going to bring up uh, second down and 14. Fifty, <clears throat> 50 seconds to go in this first quarter. Again, uh, Cold Springs leading 13 to nothing. First quarter brought to you by the Houston County Electric Cooperative. Collins in the shotgun formation. He fakes, his, fakes the pitch out and is going to be wrapped up for a huge loss. Oh, that should be a penalty right there. You, I mean, you see that hit? Well out of bounds. He was past the white out of bounds. The white hat took his eye off. He didn't see it. But I, that definitely was a, should have been roughing, roughing the passer, a personal foul. The ball at the 35-yard line. Tommy, for us to pick up a first down, We've got to get to the 44, I think. Yep, we have to get to Cold Springs 44. And that's the end of the first quarter. Again, brought to you by the Houston County Electric Cooperative. Cold Springs on top of Crockett, 13 to nothing. We're back in 60 seconds. When it comes to roofing, no one does it better than A-Alpha Roofing. They offer commercial, residential, and industrial type roofs. They offer re-roofing and are repair specialists. Matter of fact, they even offer labor and material warranties. Plus, they always offer free estimates. For more information, contact Jared or Jonathan Lamb at 936-222-5604 or toll-free 1-800-427-1055. A-Alpha Roofing, the ones to count on when you need that roof repair done. Real estate is a complicated business. It calls for great knowledge and training. So the first move you should make is to call Tires Real Estate. Knowing where to begin is the key to real estate success. Your key is a call to Tires Real Estate at 936-544-3265 or check out their website at tirerealestate.com. Tire Real Estate with David and Patty Tire Brokers along with agents Mike Thompson, Natalie Commander, and Heather Pierce. Tire Real Estate, your fast lane to a happy ending. Ball at the 35-yard line, third down and a ways. Tommy, third down and a ways. Third down and a uh, love lady. Yep. So, we're going to see. That's the third and 21 is what I think that is. Collins in the shotgun formation. Delane in the backfield with him. Three receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. This is a passing situation. And he's getting uh, pressure. He's going to go down. And uh, going to lose about four Eight yards. On the carry for the so now it's uh, fourth three. down in Trinity. <laughs> yeah. Or we just moved to Latexo. So we'll bring in Cruz. Fourth, and he should and have four. a little help from the wind here, I would think. No, now, there's, now, is it changed? There's as limp as they can be out there. No wind at all. Well, that's okay. I had my yard cleaned today, so I really don't need any more of that. You might need them back out there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Cutshaw Chevrolet in Grapeland bringing you this uh, punt from Antonio Cruz. Good snap. And Good a, a low, but the low one, but it's going to be returned. I kind of thought he. <laughs> we, what? What? Oh, this guy is a skateboard. Yeah, he's going to take it to the house. Go, and he broke six tackles in like and five yards. That's the quarterback, number eight of the Trojans. That's uh, Luke Monroe. And he takes it to the house, and I see no penalties. And we, he completely stopped three times on that return to take out um, a bulldog or two. I don't think he's a quarterback returning punt. Not very often. No. Is that your ring or mine, Tommy? <laughs> we both have. That's them. a sore subject. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the ring that you wear. No. I'm talking about what's on the front door. I look for the Trojans to go for two here, Tommy, since they missed the extra point. Yes, and the quarterback has come out, so they're going to go for two. 
Two-point conversion brought to you by Cutshaw Chevrolet, keeping it simple in Grapeland. Now we got a timeout taken by the Cold Springs, so we're going to take it with them. We're back in 60 seconds. Cold Springs on top, 19 to nothing. It's football season again. Whether you find yourself losing teeth, being tackled on the field, or munching on snacks in the stands, Crockett Dental Care is here to help. We offer dentures and implant services, not to mention partials, fillings, crowns, bridges, as well as professional cleaning. How about that for a play? Our quarterback, Dr. Joseph Holcomb, a 1986 graduate of Crockett High School, as well as our team look forward to knowing you. Call Crockett Dental Care at 936-544-3554 or to request an appointment, visit our website, crockettdentist.com. Lucas Roofing and Sheet Metal on Southwest Loop 304 in Crockett are the experts, roofing with speed and great service. James Lucas has consistently met the needs of East Texans in a professional manner. Whether residential or commercial, you can depend on a free estimate from his staff in a courteous manner. Lucas Roofing will help you with your insurance claim or new construction too. Lucas Roofing and Sheet Metal, covering East Texas thoroughly. 936-544-7992. Welcome back as the uh, Trojans are going for the two-point conversion to try to increase that lead to 21 to nothing. And a pitch out, and he will go in untouched, Tommy, as uh, I believe that's number six. And yes. goes goes in uh, untouched on the two-point conversion brought to you by Cutshaw Chevrolet, and that is Kadarian Bookman. So with 11 minutes to go here in the second quarter, brought to you by Aurora Concepts, Crockett trails 21 to nothing to the Cold Spring Trojans. We're back in 60 seconds. With the variety of fresh veggie options that are available at Subway, it's easy to add a lot of color to your sandwich. Did you know a six inch sandwich can hold up to two full servings of veggies? Right now at Subway, pick your favorite bread, add your veggies of your choice, and create a masterpiece. That's Subway with two great local locations in Grapeland and in Crockett. See them today. It's time to revive your internet. Get speeds all the way up to 5, 1 gig. Plus, right now we're offering internet for only $39.99 per month with free installation. Get Vibe's fiber-rich internet that comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee and our local friendly staff. So revive your internet for only $39.99 per month with free installation. This is a limited time offer, so call today or visit vibebroadband.com to sign up. Offer ends 103121. Modem taxes and fees extra not available in all areas. See vibebroadband.com for additional restrictions. Getting ready for another Cutshaw Chevrolet kickoff, and all these have just been onsides and squibs and everything else, and that's a live ball. So it's picked up. Trying to figure out Tommy. I believe that was number nine, Jason Johnson. Well, I don't know. Just are straightening out the jersey. Once they turn around, then we'll be able to figure out exactly who it is. It's not number nine. But we're still, if he'll just, if the young man will just turn around so we can see, there you go. Oh, he almost turned around. Harry, it's number two. It is two. It is uh, Walker. Walker. So, Crockett will start out at their own 35-yard line. Not bad uh, starting position, but uh, so far we've just really not been able to do a whole lot with it. Delane takes it. He's going to pick up about... Eight or nine yards, give him nine on the carry. Give him uh, five carries for 25 yards. Leading ball carry on the night for those. I, think, I keep talking about him. I'm amazed how small he is, how hard he runs up the middle of the field. And the thing about it is, uh, and uh, according to our sheet here, he's just a sophomore. So we're going to have him... A couple of more years. Keyshawn Easterling takes the, oh, oh, no, good faked play. us out absolutely, and the Collins went down a little hard on that. A little awkward, but he's going to pop right up. So, up first down, though. First down, a hard road mill heating and air first down, and with temperatures dropping into the 40s, it won't be long before you need to get them to come out and look at that the heating system, make sure everything is working properly. You know what they say? It's hard to stop a train. Yeah, I'm sent you good, good folks. Absolutely. First and ten at the 46-yard line. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop 
two receivers to the right, single receiver to the left, Tommy. Nice Hot snap. Good job by but he gets it off to Delane. Delane's going to pick up a yard. Yeah. Just ran, basically ran into a wall. I mean, he, he didn't have a chance. I mean, three guys just shoved him straight back. But he, I tell you, he ran it up in there hard, though. He, hey, Delane's going to run hard. There's no doubt about it. It may not be a hole there, but he's going to try to create one. Second down and nine for the Bulldogs at the 47-yard line, their own 47. 9.55 to go. Keyshawn takes the handoff. Oh, they played that. And, yeah. He didn't and, get a whole lot of blocking by his receivers on the right-hand side, but good defense there by Coach Spring. And, and I mean, you got to admire Keyshawn for being out there, but there's no doubt that hand is injured. I mean, it's wrapped up, and that's awkward when you carry the ball. It's you've not you're not used yeah. to it. This is the first game. I, mean, I think it's his last two fingers. So I mean, I would guess that they probably they probably got a little shot in and numb those two fingers, but because uh, the main two fingers you use are your, your thumb and your. But first but that's two. a lot. That's awkward. There's a lot of extra bulkiness there. Second, uh, third down and eight. Collins looking downfield. Now he's just going to try to run. Now he's going to deliver the pass. Good throw because he's going to get tackled for about an eight-yard loss if he hadn't thrown that ball. It's going to bring up fourth and nine. Let's see if Mr. Cruz is going to come out. I believe. I don't see him yet. He's coming in. There he is. Just look for the fluorescent. Yeah. Yep. If you turned off the lights here at Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium, you, you, see pink and you see pink out and you see his shoes. It's no doubt. He needs to put, you know, the last time we done this, this young man run it back. How about uh, let's uh, kick it out of bounds? Yeah, or kick it to the opposite of where he's at. And I believe that's the quarterback back again. There's no doubt. As uh, Luke uh, Monroe. Uh, that one's got a little more hang time. He's just going to back up and let it bounce. It's going to get inside the five-yard line. Yep. Down. Right at, right at the five yard line. So, an Good excellent cut shot Chevrolet punt there by Antonio Cruz. So, with 8.25 to go here, Tommy in the second quarter, again brought to you by Roar Concepts, located on Loop 304 East in Crockett. Uh, it's time for this defense to uh, force a turnover. Apple, lint, no, we want the pumpkin, pumpkin, spice. pumpkin spice. Yes. I brought some pumpkin spice bagels the other day, and I, I thought about you, the turnover you said, and uh, I tell you, were they good? They were pretty good. They were pretty they good. They smell I, better than they taste, but they still tasted pretty good. And uh, do you bring one tonight? Uh, no. Well, no. Okay. No, I, I did not. I, I was lucky to get a sandwich. I got, I got up here late, and there was, I think there was one sandwich left. Well, special thanks to uh, Doc's Barbecue and Smoked Meats. They take very good care of the press box. They certainly do. And the bowling ball got the handoff. He picks up a yard. Tommy, I think that's the first time we've held one of their running backs to, to a yard. Maybe twice. Well, actually, we need to make a punt out of their end zone here. Oh, yeah, they're going to give him two yards on that carry, going to bring up second down and eight. 8.05, second quarter, 21 nothing dogs trailing to the Coast Spring Trojans. That's a tough drive. I mean, it's not far. But it seemed like it takes two hours to get there, and it's only about an hour and 15 minutes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to make that drive. I, I don't like making it this at night in this time of the year with Bambi and Rudolph and all them on the sides of the road. Yeah, they're we, in the middle of the woods, that's for sure. That's right. Misdirection handoff once again to number 10. He's going to be about a yard or two yards yeah. short. He's going to get out to about the 14-yard uh, line. they got to get just past the 15 to pick up the first down. And it's... The clock's just a ticking. I'm going to turn it over to you at about the five-minute mark, Tommy, as I've got to go down and make a very spe special presentation with Superintendent John Emmerich of Crockett ISD as we're going to present a football to Schuyler Schultz. You know, Scott, he's a um, good friend of mine. He and I have heard many games. He, he, he worked on that chain crew over there for probably two decades. Oh, there's no doubt. He loved the Astros. He loved the Texans, but he was a Bulldog through and through. The Bulldogs, the Bulldogs call a timeout. We're going to take it with them with uh, 6.59 to go in this second quarter. Bulldogs trailing 21 to nothing. We're back in 60 seconds. 
The team at Batters Law Firm has been helping the injured people of East Texas for over 50 years. And Batters Law Firm now has a law office in downtown Crockett. Batters Law Firm is located at 502 Houston Avenue, downstairs in the Loft Building. If you've been injured, contact the team at Batters Law Firm. Consults are free and you pay nothing unless they win. With offices throughout East Texas and now in downtown Crockett. Contact Batters Law Firm at 833-BATTERS or online at batterslawfirm.com. When it matters, call Batters. People just like you serve on the Houston County Electric Board of Directors. Your local electric cooperative is democratically controlled. It doesn't have stockholders, so the board isn't made up of people who own the most shares and are looking for big returns on their investment. Your cooperative is governed by local people with the best interest of our membership at heart. They are elected by you, the member. They live in the districts they serve. They're active community leaders representing you. Line. This would be a huge defensive stand, Tommy, uh, to force them to punt. Their punter has not taken the field. Well, it's, and we it's, don't know who he is. He's been hiding. Yes. Maybe he's over there in a Halloween costume. <laughs> but uh, third and one, and a pitch back, back to number 10. And he's and he's pick going to pick it up, but it's on. Uh, depending on that spot. Yeah, they're they're kind of marching back we right at the 15. The He's got to get across the 15. That might be a fourth down. They're going to give him the first uh, down. Yeah. It has first to down. be by less than the length of the football. Because they they pitched back to number 10, which is uh, Easton Dean. And he was kind of stood up and then tripped up. But he had enough momentum just to pick up the first down. This is when you would uh, have a measurement, but we're, I guess, not going to do that. Chose not to. I thought it was close enough. To I, I, I certainly did. I did as well. First and ten for the Trojans, and they get they, they they looking for an opening, and he's going to. Oh, running hard. We stripped him. Yeah, but I think Crockett got the ball. We do too. Yeah, yep. Yes, he did. Crockett okay. got the football, forced that turnover. There's a player down on the field, Tommy. So turnover. Absolutely. We got the um, trainers coming out for uh, Cold Springs. We're going to take an injury timeout here at Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Aurora Concepts LLC and Family Medical Practice located at 1261 Loop 304 in Crockett. No appointment needed, just walk in. Affordable, convenient, and caring. Aurora Concepts open 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. Aurora Concepts accepts insurance of all kinds, Medicare and Medicaid, and if you're a cash-paying patient, Aurora Concept is very, very affordable. When you're sick, head to Aurora Concepts, a family medical practice with no appointment necessary, located at 1261 Loop 304 in Crockett. As fall approaches, so does peak season for viruses. Hello, this is Carol, one of your pharmacists at Davy Crockett Drug. Let us help you prepare with COVID vaccines and boosters, flu vaccine and cough and cold medications to keep you healthy this fall and winter. No appointment is necessary. We're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30 and Saturday from 8.30 to 12. Come see us on the west side of the square or call us at 936-544-2275. Getting ready for uh, action as uh, the injured Trojan, number 24, Scott Lane Jr., being assisted off the field. Yeah, not able to put any pressure on that right leg, so kind of doubtful we'll see with him the rest of the night. He's, uh, he's hopping, so uh, getting over to the sidelines. Good to see him up, though. Uh, Crockett did get the uh, recovery, so it's first. And we'll, uh, at halftime, during our Davy Crockett Drug Halftime Report, uh, we'll check in with our TSN Halftime Report. Plus, Tommy will have scores from around the area. I'm going to go down and do a very quick uh, presentation at halftime on the field. Then I'll come back and uh, 
get an update with uh, Mr. John Emmerich, superintendent of schools, as to uh, what's going on. High snap. Get on it. Get on it. Oh, he. I tell you, he didn't really hustle hard to get on that ball, and he almost didn't recover it in the time. So that's a huge loss. So now it'll be third down from uh, the 39-yard line. That takes us out of field goal yeah. position. And we got to get a first down. Is it down at the 17-yard line? We are on 39. So uh, 22 yards, third down and 22 for the Crockett Bulldogs. And the official is in the way of the coaches signaling in the play. Delane tells the official, scoot over, so he just kind of squats down. Collins in the shotgun formation. Delane in the backfield with him. Looking downfield, getting rushed. And he's going to go out of bounds at the 35-yard line, I think, Tommy. He's going to pick up four yards. 36 is where he's going out of bounds. So, no doubt, Crockett's going to go for it. Trailing 21 to nothing, just under five minutes to go. Tommy, I'm going to send it to you and let you take it all the way through the uh, okay. halftime. Right. Again, our second quarter brought to you by Aurora Concepts. I'm going to send it to Tommy as I make my way down uh, and find Mr. Emmerich and do what we need to do at halftime. All right, Collins, he's going to have, uh, looks like, three two receivers to the right, two to the left. Delane in the backfield with him, getting the signal in. Obviously, fourth down here. He's only he's attempted two passes tonight, both of them incomplete. And now Crocker's going to call a timeout. We'll throw timeout. back to the station for about a, uh, oh, about a minute break, and we'll come back with more action here in the second quarter. Crockett Farm and Fuel, located on Loop 304 in Crockett. Crockett Farm and Fuel is your local Purina dealer and is ready to serve you. Crockett Farm and Fuel can serve large or small ranchers and weekend ranchers too. And Crockett Farm and Fuel is always ready to assist the pet owners, no matter the size of the pet. Crockett Farm and Fuel opens six days a week, Monday through Friday until 5.30, and on Saturday until 1 o'clock. Go by and let them serve you. That's Crockett Farm and Fuel. Visit them soon. Aurora Concepts, LLC, and Family Medical Practice located at 1261 Loop 304 in Crockett. No appointment needed, just walk in. Affordable, convenient, and caring. Aurora Concepts open 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. Aurora Concepts accepts insurance of all kinds, Medicare and Medicaid, and if you're a cash-paying patient, Aurora Concept is very, very affordable. When you're sick, head to Aurora Concepts, a family medical practice with no appointment necessary, located at 1261 Loop 304 in Crockett. Back here at the jack, and Collins drops back, looking to throw to his left, scrambling around, looking for a receiver. Now he's going to take off up the middle, and he is going to pick up the first down, looking for a block. He's going to get down inside the 15, down to about the 12-yard line. Nice run by Jaden Collins. I mean, he, 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 he was looking to pass the ball, and he scrambled around, dodged two or three defenders. Then, kind of like the Red Sea part, just right up the middle he went, picked up the first down, got a good block by number 16 for the Dogs. Obviously, first down, down the 12-yard line. Dogs trying to punch it in. We can pick up a first down inside the two. Collins has four receivers, three receivers to the right, one to the left. Delane in the backfield, high snap, bobbles the ball, and I believe they're going to recover the ball. Looks like the Coast Spring Trojans are going to... No way, just saying the dogs got it back. This sure looks like Coast Spring had that ball. I can't believe Collins got that ball back, but a loss of about uh, six back to the 19-yard line. Gonna bring up second down. And that sure looked like a turnover from up here, but I, he must have just reached out and scooped it the last minute to retain the ball. Again, second and 19. And Collins going to take the snap, run up the middle to, over to the right-hand side, shifts, and then he's going to come down about the 16, gain of about three yards. And without Hansel up here, it's kind of hard to keep that in the play. But let's see, that's going to be three yards. That's going to get him, okay. Going to bring up third down from the 16-yard line. Like I said, we got to get inside the two to pick up a first down. More important than that, we need to get in the end zone. Crockett trailing 21-0 here with 3.06, about to go into the three-minute mark. Collins has three receivers to the right, one to the left, playing the backfield, looking to throw over here to 
Tyreek Houston, he throws the ball up just over the top of his hands over here in the corner of the end zone. Not a bad pass, just you see we just not, did not quite get back to his spot, so it's going to bring up fourth down. And let's see if we're going to try to attempt a fourth down play or bring in our field goal kicker. And I don't see Cruz. Yeah, he's still over here on the sideline, so we are going to go for it here on fourth down. Got plenty of time on the play clock, 19 seconds. No rush to get the playoff. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Collins and Delane in the backfield. Now Delane just over to the right side of Collins. Snaps with three seconds to go on the play clock. Got a man wide open if he can hit him, and it's going to be incomplete. He had a receiver over the right-hand side. I think he might have just underthrew him just a little bit. It's going to... Dogs are going to turn their over on down. The Coast Spring Trojans are going to take over. Lead you 21 to nothing with a 2.45 mark here in the second quarter. And they will set up shop at the uh, Crockett, or at their own 16-yard line. And I'm sure they're going to be content just to run these last two minutes and 45 seconds off the clock. No rush to get to the ball as they started the play clock. And their quarterback is number eight, Luke Monroe. And Luke has a 12-yard TD run and a 65-yard punt return on the night. Again, super tight snaps. I mean, all nine, all 11 of their players are just right in a big bunch right there. And they're going to hand off. <laughs> Rally Pierce is going to, I mean, like a bulldog. I mean, he grabs him by the jersey, slings him around twice, and brings him down about the 22-yard line. It's going to be a gain of six, and I do see a flag across the way. If we can find out what the flag is. Flag usually when it's thrown out there, it's usually offsides or possibly a legal procedure. Yeah, they're saying offsides on Crockett, number 19. I'm sure they'll take the penalty. Make it first and five. And they do. So Mr. Fisher's going to mark it down just just outside the 20-yard line. And he sets the play clock, sets the scoreboard in motion, 231 and counting. Again, Crockett trailing 21 zip here at the Jack. And going to be a run around the right end, and he's coming out. He's going to get out to the 40-yard line, break the tackle to the 50-yard line, down to the 40-yard line, still running hard, still fighting, gets down to the 33-yard line. Awesome run by number six, which is Bookman. I mean, the young man, he just kept his legs moving. He had several Bulldog defenders right around him, and they, he just refused to go down, and he drug two or three guys the last 15 yards to pick up that first down. Young man has heart. Quarterback under center. Monroe is going to pitch it back. Now that's going to be the big boy, Dean, running around the right left side, shifts back over to the right. He's going to be tackled down about the 22-yard line. Nice gain of 12 yards. As this coach bring offense just keeps picking up yardage and chunks. I mean, I think they've had maybe – two third downs all night. They've been just gaining everything on first and second down. Dogs yet to have an answer to stop them. 135 and counting. Quarterback Monroe is going to turn around and hand it off to let's see who that is. That is 20 I think that's going to be major. He's going to pick up about the Seven yard, eight yards. About to go into the one minute mark here. Dogs have one timeout left. Looks like Coach Spring has two. Man in motion, gonna do a little counter play. He's gonna break one tackle. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna get popped hard. Let's see who, who put that hit on. I believe that was number 45, Crockett, which is gonna be Bryson Burton, just a freshman out there playing for Crockett tonight. But he is going to pick up inside the 10-yard line. It's going to be first and goal. Right at the 9-yard line. 56 seconds and ticking on the clock. Again, real, real tight bunch by the Coach Spring Trojans. Turn around, hand it off to 10. He's going to be tackled for maybe a yard loss. 
good, good tackle by Crockett. And that is going to be number 55 for Crockett, Blake Jones, Jr. And it looks like we're going to have timeout, Coach Ring, with 41 seconds to go. We're going to send it back to the station for about a 45 seconds to one minute timeout. We'll come back to finish up the second quarter. Bruner's Economy Car Center is your full service auto body repair shop. Bruner will tow your vehicle, set you up in a hassle free rental car, and when Bruner's repairs your vehicle, they'll give you half off your deductible up to $250. Bruner's Economy Car Center is celebrating their 16th annual Big Buck Contest. And again this year, to thank their loyal customers, they'll be giving away $500. Yes, you heard that right. A lucky customer will win $500 at the end of deer season. So remember, when you hit that big buck, request Bruner's Wrecker and save. Call 936-544-7142 or after hours, 936-546-4022. Bruner's Economy Car Center, trusted since 1972. That's Bruner's Economy Car Center, home of the big buck contest. And back here at the Jack, uh, Coach Spring still over there in the huddle talking about their time out here, wanting to try to go up by 24 scores, basically, 27 or 28 points, leading 21 to nothing. 41 seconds, both teams have a, one timeout left. Very important for the dogs to hold them out of the end zone here, try to keep this score at a three-score game. Again, very, very tight bunching by the Coach Spring offense. Quarterback under center, takes a snap, going to hand it off to running back coming around the left-hand side, right-hand side. He's going to get it in. They're going, yes, they are going to call it a touchdown. It's going to be a 10-yard touchdown run. This is going to get this down at the 35-second mark here in the second quarter. 10-yard TD run. And that's going to make your new score, Crockett 0, Toe Spring 27. And looks like they're going to line up to attempt the kick. 35 seconds here to go in the second quarter. Snap back. Hold down. Kick up. And I mean, just barely through the uprights. Kick's good. And that's going to make our new score here with 35 seconds to go in the second quarter. Coach Spring 28, Crockett 0. We're going to throw it back to the station for about a Oh, about a two-minute break. We'll come back for the last 35 seconds here of the first half. Cut Shaw Chevrolet and Grapeland may not have a lot full of new Chevrolets, but they have an order bank full of inbound trucks and SUVs for you to choose from. Tahoe, Suburban, or how about a new Trail Boss half-ton crew cab truck? And if you need a pickup for big jobs, Cut Shaw Chevrolet can put you in a three-quarter ton or one-ton truck. All headed to Grapeland for quick delivery. If they don't have exactly what you're looking for, Cut Shaw Chevrolet has open ordering available on all new 2022s. Just another way Cut Shaw Chevrolet and Grapeland is keeping it simple. 1-800-CUTSHAW. It soon will be time to make sure the heat is on. With fall officially here, now is the perfect time to get your heating system serviced. Call Hargrove Neal Heating and Air today at 936-544-7270 or 544-COOL and schedule a heating checkup. Since 1961, Hargrove Neal Heating and Air has been the company that East Texans has relied on for comfort. Hargrove Neal Heating and Air services all brands and models. Hargrove Neal, 1117 East Houston Avenue in Crockett, is your trained comfort specialist. Darling Ingredients in Grapeland is pleased to support the youth of Houston County. For more information about a career with Darling Ingredients in Grapeland, visit their website, darlingii.com. Again, that's darlingii.com. Darling Ingredients, proud to support the youth of Houston County. Whether you have a medical condition affecting your eyes or you just want the best value in a new pair of glasses, Crockett Eye Clinic is the only vision source facility in Houston County with the cutting edge technology necessary to diagnose and treat any ocular condition. They also offer the latest designs in frames and newest advances in contact lenses. Crockett Eye Clinic with Drs. McCall and Castleberry is your Crockett vision source. Call 936-544-3763 to make an appointment today.
And back here at the Jack, uh, Cold Spring kicks off Crockett. Looks like it's going to be filled by Crowley Pierce. He's going to make one good move, come over here, and going to get out to about the 45-yard line. First down for Crockett. It looks like they're going to actually take a timeout. So real quick, we're going to see if we can get some scores around East Texas area. Let's see. Get my phone to refresh here. Looks like Alto is all over growth and uh, midway through the second quarter, 32 to zero. Love leading, leading Cushing, 24 to nothing. Then number one, Mark Panthers leading Hubbard, 28 to nothing. Centerville leading Normandy, 27-0. Got a real good game over uh, between Grape and Leon, tied 14-14 midway through the second quarter. Elkhart leading Huntington, it's kind of a little surprise, 8 to six, start of the second quarter. Let's see. Lufkin leading Caney Creek, 27-7. Newton leading Hemphill, 28-0. And now the dogs are back out on the field. 28 seconds on the clock here in the second period. Snap back to Collins. He's going to keep the ball, run around the right-hand side. He's going to pick up, oh, down to about the 49-yard line. Gain of four for Collins. Actually, he's had some losses now. That actually gets him in plus yardage territory. So now he has 11 carries for two yards because at one time he was minus 25. So getting out of the negative is good for him. Play clock's at three seconds. Looks like they're not going to run another clock, another play. So that's that going to be the end of the first half. Crockett's trailing 28-0 here at the Jacks of the Coast Spring Trojans. We're going to send it back to the station for about two minutes, then we'll come back with some error scores, some stats. And then we'll have that TSN report also here at halftime. Back to the station with Jessica. Pizza, wings, and stuffed cheesy bread are all delicious. But you know what makes them even more delicious? Adding a dipping sauce. Add some extra flavor to your next Domino's order with barbecue, garlic, or marinara. Spice things up with the kicker hot sauce or sweet mango habanera. Or cool things down with ranch or blue cheese. Visit Domino's, located at 1000 Loop 304 in Crockett, or call them tonight, 936-624-0111. Domino's Pizza, proud to support the Crockett Bulldogs. For more than 50 years, the fine folks at Volcraft, a division of the Nucor Corporation in Grapeland, manufacturer of steel joists, deck, and grading, has been supporting the youth of this community. Volcraft realizes that investing in the youth of this great community is an investment in each and every person. The employees of Volcraft, a division of the Nucor Corporation in Grapeland, would like to take this time to encourage you to get out and support your local community and the activities that your children are a part of. Volcraft, a division of the Nucor Corporation. Nothing feels better in a football game than cheering for a touchdown. You can grab some cheers of your own when you score with Knox Furniture. New furniture, updated appliances, replaced flooring. Scott or Schultz, if you're in the area, we need you over here at the 50 on the home side, Scott or Schultz. Scott or Schultz.
Ladies and gentlemen, before we have the bands come out, we have a very special presentation. October the 2nd, just a little less than a month ago, we lost a very important person that uh, ran the chain for Crockett Bulldog football. Scott Schultz passed away, and we want to present his daughter a game ball at halftime of tonight's game in appreciation of what Scott Schultz did for Crockett ISD and Crockett Athletics. Would you please make welcome Skylar Schultz. I just want to add that your dad touched many people's lives, many youth with all that he did, umpiring for the youth softball league, and I can tell you that there was never a better man in the volunteer fire department than your dad. When he was on the hose with me, when we wrote volunteers, I never had to worry about it. Scott had my six. Another round of applause for Skyler. And our captain this evening is Ms. Lucky Poppin Houston. Tonight, our Trojanette will perform a Tom routine to the tune of Shake It Off.
certified nursing assistants, floral design, phlebotomy, and welding. For more information, call Crockett ISD today at 936-544-2125. Crockett ISD, one town, one school, one family. The team at Batters Law Firm has been helping the injured people of East Texas for over 50 years. And Batters Law Firm now has a law office in downtown Crockett. Batters Law Firm is located at 502 Houston Avenue, downstairs in the loft building. If you've been injured, contact the team at Batters Law Firm. Consults are free and you pay nothing unless they win. With offices throughout East Texas and now in downtown Crockett. Contact Batters Law Firm at 833-BATTERS or online at batterslawfirm.com. When it matters, call batters. People just like you serve on the Houston County Electric Board of Directors. Your local electric cooperative is democratically controlled. It doesn't have stockholders, so the board isn't made up of people who own the most shares and are looking for big returns on their investment. Your cooperative is governed by local people with the best interest of our membership at heart. They are elected by you, the member. They live in the districts they serve, they're active community leaders representing you. Rocket Bulldogs will receive the kickoff, Tommy, to start the third quarter. Uh, trailing 28 to nothing, we need to uh, get it down the field and get it into the end zone. Yeah, not a, not a lot of offense on tonight. Uh, no completions by Collins. Uh, we, he's got, uh, Collins has 11 carries for two yards, and Chapman has in the first two plays. He had two carries for 19 yards, hasn't touched the ball since. Delane has six carries for 26 yards, Eastling two carries for six yards. Just not a lot of offense tonight for the Dogs. No, and, you know, one of the things we talked about during the uh, batter's uh, pregame report, Tommy, was seeing after we see Cold Springs tonight, we saw die ball last week, which one is the, 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 the better team. Here's the Cutshaw Chevrolet squib kick. Goes right through one of the Bulldogs, and uh, is picked up, I believe, by number nine on the sidelines, which is Jace Johnson, and Crockett will set up first and 10 at the 32-yard line. And, you know, you had mentioned that you thought Cole Springs had a better defense. I Right now, I give the edge to die ball. I think, you know, Cold Spring hasn't really unraveled their offense. I mean, they basically just kept everything in tight. tight. Uh, I think uh, just from what I've seen in a game and a half, I think Dybal's got a little bit more speed than Cold Spring. I think so. First and 10 for the Bulldogs at their own 32. Third quarter action brought to you by Crockett Farm and Fuel. Collins calls his own number. He's going to be tripped up at about the 38-yard line, make it to 39. So that... Will bring up First second. Down. No, nope. it'll bring up second down in about oh, four. Okay. So, so the ball at the 39 yard line. Quick, uh, they're making all kind of moves out there. We got plenty of time on the play clock. Two receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. In the backfield with Collins is uh, Keyshawn Easterling, as well as uh, Marcus Moore. Easterling takes the handoff. He's going to pick up the first down and get to about midfield. Get a motion run by Easterling. Just right up the middle. Another hard road nail heating and air first down for the Crockett Bulldogs. Need to come out with a sense of urgency when you're trailing 28 to nothing. Ball right at midfield. And as you mentioned, Tommy, it has been at least six quarters 
since the Bulldogs have scored, at least. Yeah, I know we didn't score at all last week in the first two quarters here, working on the third quarter. Collins again calls his own number. He spins, <laughs> and he's going to be held up for no gain, going to bring up second down and 10, the ball at the 50-yard line. Yeah, that spin didn't really fool anybody. No. They said, okay, you can spin to the right or spin to the left, but we're going to be on either side, so come on. Second down and, and 10. Two receivers to the far left, single receiver to the right. Houston to the right. I'll get those two numbers to the left here momentarily. Bedford in motion. Easterling takes the handoff. He's going to pick up a first down. He should be down at the 30. I think you're going to mark it at the 38, Tommy. Gain of 12. You know, we'd have to have something at the 38. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it the 38 and a half. He has Eastling actually four carries now for 40 yards. Nice little 10-yard average. Another hard road nil heating and air first down brought to you by Calvin and Cynthia Neal. He looks fresh. Where it's hard to stop a train. Yeah. Well, the, Delane ran more in the first right. half than there goes, uh, Bedford. Bedford. He's tripped up in the backfield for about a three to four yard loss. He's thinking Bedford. he's going to bust one of those eventually, but if he does, they're not going to catch him. No, if he does, he get around that corner, but he hasn't been able to get around right. that corner. If it, I mean, he's, I would say he's probably the fastest young man out there. If not, it's going to be close. He is quick. He can move. Second down and 14. Well, I heard those two guys that were sending that football down there earlier were both pretty quick, you know, at one time. You talking about? Talking about Ansel Bradshaw and, and John Emmerich. John Emmerich. Yeah, I think I'm fixing to turn your mic off. <laughs> I can do that. I said I, it one time. I've got the control. I didn't say it now. I said it one time. I got the control <laughs> sitting over here, T Mac. No game. Back. No, he got to the back up to the original oh, yeah, line of scrimmage. Sure so that's see, three. there you are throwing me under the bus and miss the play. <laughs> Third down and seeing the ball at the 41-yard line. But at least you hadn't started talking about puppies yet like you did last week. Or cows out there on the other side of the fence. Dude, don't like bring that up. Don't bring that up. <laughs> there wasn't no cows. I promise. <laughs> Third down and 10. Four down territory, obviously, for the Bulldogs. Collins rolling to his left. He is going backwards. He's going to air this one out. Fortunately, out of bounds. Going to bring up fourth and ten. And he's now 0 for 5. 0 for 4. 0 for 4. And, and we're going to punt. Cruz is going to punt. Okay. We're going to try to, or maybe, well. I wouldn't be surprised to a little fake right here, possibly, but maybe not. Well, what what is this lineup? I don't know what we're doing. We're going, well. Only He's back four for the guys on the offense. There's five guys. There's the five. Yeah. Cruz back uh, to punt. And uh, he's going to try to get this one out of bounds, and it's going to go into the end zone. So he's going to net about uh, 21 yards. Ball was at the 41. They're going to get the ball to 20. So he was trying to cough and kick it, and uh, it just uh, was unable to do that. So Cole Springs will take over. Here in the third quarter, brought to you by Crockett Farm and Fuel with 8.28 to go, 8.20 to go, and the Cold Springs on top, 28 to nothing. And some semi-good news. Uh, Atlanta goes up one nothing, but they had bases loaded and one out, and we only got out of it with the one run scoring, so not bad. Garcia hung in there and fought hard to get that third out. Then with some big pitches. If we'd have been watching it at home, we'd have been nervous. I don't even hug the ball. <laughs> Number 10 does. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20, the 10, 5, and touchdown. yard run. Yep. Number 10. That makes it 34 to nothing pending the PAT. And that was number 10, Easton Dean. And, Tommy, I'm not sure anybody knew who had the ball. Uh, you know, I didn't until he broke the line of scrimmage. I think he ran. I think he ran up in the huddle, and someone stood him up. Thought maybe he might have the ball, and he actually had the ball. And then he just took off. You play to the whistle. Did you ever ask uh, the coach about the uh, play last week? With oh, the, I did. 
<laughs> what, what he said. How'd I know it? Well, if you can say it. All right, Miss Snap. Cut y'all Chevrolet extra point is no good because it never got off the ground. So with 8.08 to go here, I'll tell you what, we're just going to keep it right here. And I will tell you, so I did speak with Coach Dixon about the out-of-bounds play. Well, let me tell you what happened. The crews set up kick field goal. Yes. They came in up the middle, blocked the ball, and yes. went forward. Yes. They had a defender catch the ball about the 10-yard line over here on the edge and ran the ball down in front of the die ball stands and uh, team. Steps on the white, three complete steps in the white. Yes. And goes all the way in and scores. And they said they had, didn't have official because the, <laughs> the sideline officials are in the end zone. On, that the, play. on, on, on the field goal, they're under or beside no, the goal post. Right. And they couldn't catch up with the guy. And all of that's true. Uh, Dixon wasn't buying what they were selling, but he understood it. But he did send the film in to whoever you send the film in. And amazing, the film that the Crockett film crew had and the film and the film that the die ball film crew had, both of those show the guy stepping out of bounds. So, I mean, there's no doubt. There's, yeah. but, but the main thing that Dixon stressed to the team is you play till the whistle blows. Because they didn't blow the whistle. The guy, he the, never gave the, up the after he went out. Of, yeah. yeah. Cut y'all Chevrolet squib kick right over the shoulder of one of the Bulldogs. Picked up by number 70. He thinks he's a running back. And he made, he just <laughs> run it over. I think I put. 72. I think I put. Is that the bridge? Courtney that's, Bird on the carry. <laughs> well, on now they've changed. That's Courtney, Courtney Bird. Bird. He's Bird. changed numbers. I'm not sure why he's. Yeah, he's a little skinnier, a little skinnier than William Perry, I believe, number 72. But I think I put him in there and just hand him the ball. But what Coach Dixon told is, yes, it was a it was a missed call. It was a bad missed call. But you play until the whistle. And, hey, some of that's acting out there. That dude knew he – knew he, man, we call a timeout. That guy knew that he stepped out of bounds, Tommy, and we're going to keep it right here, Jessica, probably. to finish this story. He knew he stepped out of bounds. But he, but he, he did, sold it. He yeah, sold it. he yeah. did not stop. And also, he said there could have been interference over there on on the sideline because there's so many people. It, right, it right. was just it was blown all it was a blown call all the way around. But it is what it is. I mean, it, I don't think it would have it changed. changed. It wouldn't have changed the game. I mean, I think it was changed a little, last, a little it momentum. Their last or next to last score of the game. Yeah, it would have changed a little mode, but uh, probably not the outcome of the game. And I'm eager to see next week. Uh, what the result is going to be of Coach Spring uh, hosting die ball next week. Yes. You know, Coach Spring at home, they're a lot tougher than they are on the road. And well, they're, and, they're and they the still have tonight. grass. Yes, So, So it's a big difference of playing on an artificial surface versus a grass field. And, you know, it's just old school. First and ten for the Crockett Bulldogs. That's the Trojans 41. And that's uh, – Keyshawn Easterling with the handoff. He's going to be close Keyshawn, to a first down, maybe yeah. about a yard short, Tommy, yeah, down to the 32. Just keep giving to that young man. He's running hard. 7.40 to go in this third quarter. Again, brought to you by Crockett Farm and Fuel, your headquarters for all your deer plots and so forth. Go by and see them tomorrow. They'll be open early in the morning, and they'll have a free cup of coffee for you. Located on Loop 304 East in Crockett. And another one handed off to Keyshawn Easterling. He's going to pick up the first down. He's inside the 30 at the 29. That's going to move the sticks. Another Hargrove nail heating and air first down. That's number 63, Barnes, on the tackle for the Trojans. Quickly back up to the line of scrimmage. And they're all looking over to the coaches. Five more, more here in the second. More in motion. Third quarter. Now Easterling straight up the middle, and well, he, he is, popped is he is right in up. the thighs. He, gonna, he might lay there for a while. Yeah, that, he that, took that a, hurt. He took a hit. Keyshawn Easterling on the carry. Tomorrow, both on KIVY AM and KIVY FM, 
It is the Texas Longhorns at the ranked Baylor Bears. 11 like, o'clock kickoff. Like ranked nationally or ranked like smell? or uh, I, I would believe that would be nationally. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're playing good. I, I give them credit. That's number two on getting the microphone cut off. Number three, <laughs> and it's not even a warning. Keyshawn gets, or Collins gets wrapped up for a loss. Collins, Ball back at the 31-yard line. So it's going to bring up second, third, excuse me, third down and 11. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Bears are ranked. They should they should win. They're, they're ranked. But uh, if they if they lose, if Longhorns win, you got to bring me a Dr. Pepper. And if the Bears win, i got to bring you a Coke next week when we get the car, vehicle, to head to Trinity. And I sell both. <laughs> you gonna bring me down a date with if I lose? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that, Tommy. Easterling takes the handoff. He's fighting hard. He's gonna get down to the 23-yard line. Gonna bring up fourth down. Got to be fourth down territory. No, I might just bring you an empty one. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a fourth down and four. They need to get just inside the 20 to pick up a first down. They're saying third down, but they need to flip that. There you go. Now we got it going. Fourth and uh, four. 537 to go in this uh, third quarter, and we're going to get a penalty there. They but the I don't think so. Don't think they threw the play. And, but we're going to be short, so we're going to yeah. turn over on downs. We're down to the 20. We're going to get down inside the we got to get to 19. the 19, so we're going to end up being a yard short. But I think they could have threw a flag on that one, Tommy. I think that's a 34 to 0, no, no yeah. throw on the flag. No, so here's what we're going to do. If the Longhorns win, I'm going to bring you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's the spread? Uh, long, long the spread. Or bears by three or four. So I, get, so I get three points. No, no. No? So here's the deal. So you're not that confident. Here's the deal. Here, no, I am. Here's the deal. If the Longhorns win, you get a case of canned Dr. Pepper. Okay. A case? A case of canned Dr. Pepper. That's 24 in case you can't count that high. And if the Bears win, I get that little painted thing that I asked you to make me. Now you done forgot. First and 10. Good pop there by Marcus Moore of the Bulldogs. Stood him up after about a two-yard gain. Painted thing. Okay. You don't remember I, need, I remember us discussing something, but I don't think we ever had I need, to, I need, to order that. I need a little Texans logo thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can't uh, say uh, why uh, I need yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Okay. Yeah. So I would really need it by next Friday if you can make that happen. Uh, uh, yeah, you can. Because you'll want your drinks next Friday. You done said it. Uh, my wife's <laughs> listening. I sure can't have 24 Dr. Pepper. Well, yeah, you can spread them out. <laughs> didn't last you a weekend. Second down and eight. Who's got the ball? And that is going to be number, number one. one. He had that first does, carry tonight. It's going to be Rogers. Kyron? Is that how you would pronounce that? I would say Kyron. K H Y R I N. Kyron. So picks up enough for the first down just barely, but they get it. Or Kieran. Let's just go with Rogers. With a, with a G and a D. Yep. First and 10 for the Trojans. At their own 30-yard line, and leading Crockett 34 to nothing right now. They have a runner on base with two outs, and Correa is batting. And off straight up the middle. We closed that gap pretty quick after about a three-yard gain. I think we're starting to see a few of their backup uh, running backs in the game. And you can kind of see a little bit of difference in the running ability. They don't want any injuries playing for a district no, they, they title next Friday night. I imagine their their best eight players are on the sideline getting ready for diving. Well, but the court. quarterback's still in there. You know, he does everything. Punt return. I don't think you're going to see him rush the ball much no. the rest of the night. He's just going to turn around and hand it off. Come on, Correa. Yeah, pitch back to number to Ooh, good, good hit tackle. there. I mean, that was a pop by number 45, and that's uh, Bryson Burton. That's the second time he's had a big pop tonight, and it's going to bring up third and a long four. Yeah, we'll call it four. That's the 31-yard line. you got to get to the 35. I mean, to the 40. The 36-yard line, you got to get to the 40. We might find out they have a punter. Hmm. 
That's true. So it is third and four, four and a half. And that, I mean, as you said. Yeah, you've got to say two receivers left, two receivers no, right. No, no. Pitch back. He's going to get the first down and more. And that's number one. Yeah, he needed, that's Rogers. He needed 40, picked up six. It's going to move the chains. Yep, that's. Clock stops till they get the chains moved. Now they start it back up at the 241 mark. And here it is, uh, 846, and we're fixing to be into the fourth quarter. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Huh. <laughs> that may be all. And Correa, I'm not sure how he got on. The, he must have walked, so we got runners on first and second, two outs, Tucker batting. Boy, it would be a nice time for a three-run jack for Kyle Tucker. Yep. Right up the middle, number another, 10. Another five, six-yard. Uh, that might not be 10. That is number 33. Noah Bercher. Number, what was the number? 33. Two? Yeah. Bercher, Noah Bercher. Going to pick up about five yards. Well, yep, exactly five. So brings up second down and five. The ball sitting at the 48-yard line of the Trojans, and that clock is just a ticking. 143 and going. And Tucker grounded out to the pitcher for the third down. It's possible to be done at 10 minutes after nine. Completely. Big guy takes the handoff. He's at the 40. <laughs> I mean, number 63 for Crockett. He saved a touchdown there, Tommy. <laughs> he, he, he popped him hard from the back. I mean, took him off his I'm feet. surprised that they didn't say that was a, a blind side hit, but he felt it when his feet went out from under him. Hmm. Now that thing that I thought was a flag is on our side. You see it out there about the 47-yard line? It's right there between the letters T-S-O. <laughs> out there in midfield. <laughs> <laughs> hit, hit, hit. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, I'm right with you, buddy. I here we go. Too. They had a little collision in the backfield, but number 30 gets the handoff. And that's uh, Andrew Tyson. We hadn't called his number running the ball tonight. Do they just have an unlimited supply of running backs over there on that other sideline? Well, they, I don't I think we only had like 22, 23 players. I would say they probably got an additional eight, nine more players over there than we do. Mm. And should be probably the last play of the Third quarter. They're going to have to snap, snap it. at one time. Yeah, because they're 15 seconds and 10 seconds on the play clock. So second down and four, make it five. And the quarter quarterback got popped. Well, yeah, but he didn't even have the yeah. ball. <laughs> Man, don't hit me. I don't have it. At the end of the third quarter, it is the Crockett Bulldogs trailing the Cold Springs Trojans 34 to nothing. Third quarter action brought to you by Crockett. Farm and Fuel. Our fourth quarter action brought to you by Brunner's Economy Car Center, home of the Big Buck Contest. We're back with fourth quarter action in 60 seconds. Brunner's Economy Car Center is your full service auto body repair shop. Brunner will tow your vehicle, set you up in a hassle free rental car, and when Brunner's repairs your vehicle, they'll give you half off your deductible up to $250. Bruner's Economy Car Center is celebrating their 16th annual Big Buck Contest. And again this year, to thank their loyal customers, they'll be giving away $500. Yes, you heard that right. A lucky customer will win $500 at the end of deer season. So remember, when you hit that Big Buck, request Bruner's record and save. Call 936-544-7142 or after hours, 936-546-4022. Brunner's Economy Car Center, trusted since 1972. That's Brunner's Economy Car Center, home of the Big Buck Contest. Thank you. Third and six for the uh, Trojans, and uh, Tommy, fourth quarter action brought to you by Brunner's Economy Car Center. 
good folks and the home of that big buck contest and big time supporters of Crockett Bulldog Athletics here on KIVY. And uh, again, this thing is just, uh, it's any, many, miny, mo who has the football. Yeah, you, you can't tell till they tackle. We've got the ball. I believe that's going to be number one. And he's going to pick up the first down and more inside the 25 down yeah. to about the 23. Yeah, needed six, got a little bit over seven. First down. That 46 mark here, and like I say, we are not even to 9 o'clock yet. So, like you said, we might be at the recliner watching the Astros by it's, 9.30. It's possible. And Francis, not only during the timeout, not only did Tommy say he wanted that case of Dr. Peppers, <laughs> but he asked for a half a case, which there's 64 in a box. So that would be 32 bags of Cheetos. Oh, she knows that. I don't, I don't need Cheetos. <laughs> I got green to do, but <laughs> by the gross, but I don't need them. First and ten, pitch back to number one. He gets around the left-hand side. He's and going to the house, Tommy. Yeah, 23-yard yeah, touchdown run by number one, Roger. Roger. At the 11.06 mark here touchdown. in the uh, fourth quarter, and that's going to increase it to 40 to nothing. And we have been through seven quarters now of uh, scoreless football for the Crockett Bulldogs. And uh, this uh, extra point brought to you by Cutshaw Chevrolet. This is a tough stretch here for It is. These two games, you know. We knew they were going to be tough. Absolutely. uh, Snaps the ball is back and down. And it is barely. (laughs) No, I thought it was good. No, I think it just went right under it. I mean, this this young man, he doesn't have the strongest leg, but, I mean, he, he gets it right to the height of it or just barely <laughs> over it every time he kicks it. So with uh, 11.06 to go in the fourth quarter, brought to you by Bruner's Economy Car Center, it is the Trojans 40, the Bulldogs 0. We're back in 60 seconds. Cut y'all Chevrolet and Grapeland may not have a lot full of new Chevrolets, but they have an order bank full of inbound trucks and SUVs for you to choose from. Tahoe, Suburban, or how about a new Trail Boss Half Ton Crew Cab truck? And if you need a pickup for big jobs, Cut Shaw Chevrolet can put you in a three-quarter ton or one-ton truck. All headed to Grapeland for quick delivery. If they don't have exactly what you're looking for, Cut Shaw Chevrolet has open ordering available on all new 2022s. Just another way Cut Shaw Chevrolet and Grapeland is keeping it simple. 1 800 Cut Shaw. It soon will be time to make sure the heat is on. With fall officially here, now is the perfect time to get your heating system serviced. Call Hargrove Neal Heating and Air today at 936 544 7270 or 544 Cool and schedule a heating checkup. Since 1961, Hargrove Neal Heating and Air has been the company that East Texans has relied on for comfort. Hargrove Neal Heating and Air services all brands and models. Hargrove Neal, 1117 East Houston Avenue in Crockett, is your trained comfort specialist. Welcome back to uh, Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. Fourth quarter action for our Crockett Bulldogs, trailing 40 to nothing to a very highly talented uh, Trojans team from uh, Cold Spring, and uh, they'll be playing for the district title next Friday night as they host Die Ball. Another one of these squib kicks taken by Simon, number three. He's at the 45. He's at the 50. And uh, going to be inside approaching territory they've got a young man down who also lost his helmet Tommy so we got the, some of the staff coming out there uh, from the uh, trainers and coaches to uh, check on him we're going to take an injury timeout we're back in 60 seconds Darling Ingredients in Grapeland is pleased to support the youth of Houston County. For more information about a career with Darling Ingredients in Grapeland, visit their website, darlingii.com. Again, that's darlingii.com. Darling Ingredients, proud to support the youth of Houston County. Whether you have a medical condition affecting your eyes or you just want the best value in a new pair of glasses, Crockett Eye Clinic is the only vision source facility in Houston County with the cutting edge technology necessary to diagnose and treat any ocular condition. They also offer the latest designs in frames and newest advances in contact lenses. 
Crockett Eye Clinic with Doctors McCall and Castleberry is your Crockett vision source. Call 936-544-3763 to make an appointment today. Welcome back to uh, play. The Bulldogs uh, on that uh, kickoff return. Get it inside of Trojan territory and then hand off to uh, Easterling. Right up the middle for about five yards. And going to bring up second down and five. The ball at the 42-yard line is where they spot it. He's in 10 carries for 66 yards on the night. Not a bad average. No. And playing uh, with an injured hand, Tommy. So, uh, you know, I think they have it cast up from what I understand. Second down. Let's give it, make it second down and uh, five. Coaching staff calling in the, uh, the play. Sometimes I, I'd like to see this go just a little quicker. High snap, but Collins recovers it. He breaks out to the right. He's going to pick up the first down. Spins. Oh, probably his best run on the night. There's ain't about eight yards. Down to the 33-yard line. Another oh, Hardgrove oh, nail heating and air first down. About to go under the 10-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. I say let's drive down and, and let's get off this score to streak we're on and put it in the end zone. We certainly... Uh, what we need to do right now is start playing for next take, week. For next week, exactly. And and I think Tommy, we need to look at those playoff implications because if Trinity loses, then they're they they're well, they're they're all at four. So. Right. I'm not sure that was an illegal. Or well, that was an incomplete pass intended for Bedford. That was kind of an odd pass as that he just threw it more like a basketball Bedford. instead of a football. If you can figure out those playoff right. implications. Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs at the 30, we'll call it the 33 and a half yard line. Easterling calling his own number and he's going to be uh, wrapped up in the backfield, Tommy, by number nine which is uh, Caden Barton. And that's going to lose uh, about Barton. five yards and bring up third down and 15. And Collins is kind of holding that shoulder just a little bit. You know, he come out in the die ball game about so with two or three minutes left in the game with a, a little banged up shoulder. Maybe you pull him out, you put uh, number eight in, which is uh, Crowley Pierce, try to protect Collins for that game against Trinity. As Tommy's working on the playoff, Collins looking downfield, got holding right there. So this is whatever happens here is coming back. They're going to decline it as they wrap up Collins in the backfield uh, for down at the 41-yard line. But there's no doubt that that was holding him. Uh, on the Crockett Bulldogs. So we'll see what the, what they decline the penalty or if they take it. Well, it looks like, um, obviously, Dybal's 5-0. Coach Brand's going to go to 5-0. Westwood's leading 36 to nothing over Trinity, so they're going to go to 3-2. So they're, those three teams those three have three in, right. We're going to follow 2-3 and three after tonight. Huntington is leading Elkhart by 6 uh, if they win, Huntington is tied with us, but we have a head-to-head -head victory over them. Uh, so we will have to beat Trinity next week to get in. The playoffs. Now, Huntington, do they have a bye next week? No, they play uh, Westwood. Okay. So they, they I mean, Westwood could beat Huntington next week, and we could lose and still get in. Right. So, But we need to take care of business. Right, right. Fourth and... A pretty good ways, Tommy, about fourth and 20. High snap, Collins recovers it once again, and he's going to get wrapped up for a loss back at the 48-yard line. Collins is uh, a little slow to get up. So turnover on downs, and, uh, you know, Tommy, we went backwards on those four 
play. Well, the first one was an incomplete pass, and then we lost yardage on three consecutive plays. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, like I say, 826 mark, we just need to get out of this game, keep our guys healthy, and try to get that win next week, get into the playoffs, and then it's a, it's a brand new season. I mean, crazy things happen in the playoffs. There's, there's no doubt. I mean, that's why they call it the third season. Exactly right. Because you've got non-district, district, and then the playoffs. And we've seen teams, we've heard of teams, I, I, Tommy. I that, remember a team that was 1-9 won a playoff game oh, yeah. a few years ago. For them just to make the playoffs. They've changed quarterbacks for Cold Springs. Good they tackle. brought in number 17, Hunter Mullins. That's going to be number 45 for Crockett. Burton, I mean, this young man's a freshman. I, I, I think he's going to... I think he deserves to stay up. Definitely going to be up next year. Oh, yeah. Linebacker. I mean, he, 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 I, uh, Bryson Burke. Yep. Remember that name, folks. Second down and about seven. Yep, seven. 752 and counting. Ball at the 49-yard line of the Crockett Bulldogs. Number 44, the bowling ball, if you will. Takes five Bulldogs to bring him down at the 46-yard line. So it's going to bring up third down and a long four. And the Astros got out of a tough uh, bottom of the fourth. No run to give up. So top of the fifth, trailing one to nothing. Gurriel at the box. And they put, who they put in the outfield tonight? So they, he could bat because they don't. You, you, you don't have the DH in the National League Park. I think they put uh, Alvarez in they the did. left. They, they did. Put uh, Tucker in center and Brantley in right. That's correct. Quarterback fumble, fumble but uh, Trojans recover it back at the 49-yard line. So that's going to bring up fourth down and about eight. Hey, look who's coming on the field. A punter. Number 12. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this guy that's been hiding? Kobe Tyson. Program? Kobe, Kobe Tyson. Tyson. He does exist. <laughs> they do exist. And uh, Simon going deep. The up man is going to be Jace Johnson. Now Jace is really coming up. He's the guy. Oh, we almost got in. in Locked long. in. Pretty good punts. So get a good spring bounce inside the 20 down about the 18 yard line almost 17 yard line. and it almost hit one of our players but he tiptoed through the tulips and got away from it so it'll be first and uh, 10 for the trojans at their own uh, 18 yard line with 6 13 to go bulldogs leading uh trailing 40 to nothing getting text messages from waco The daughter? Yes. She enjoying herself so far over there? She is. That's she, she uh, you know, but when we go to Waco, it's like we need a trailer, all the stuff she wants us to bring. Have you been down to uh, Chip and Joanne's place yet? We've been there, not since she's been in school, but we went when we had a couple of visits that we went and saw the campus. Keyshawn's going to be knocked out of bounds and they, give him keep the not, clock yeah, running. not give him two yards on the carry. Yes, we have found their bakery. I'd like to go, you know, I don't know if you remember the old, uh, that they're in the circle. It used to be the Little Mexico, and then they bought it and turned yeah. it into a I'm not sure what they call it, but turn it into a restaurant there. I'd like to go over and try that one day. Not George's, is it? I, I'm not sure what they renamed. They renamed it something. Two receivers to the right, single receiver to the left. Easterling gets a handoff and nowhere to go. Loses a yard on that, going to bring up third down and nine. Under oh, six man. minutes to go here in the uh, fourth quarter. but an early kickoff tomorrow at 11. I didn't know they activated Marvin Gonzalez for the series. He's, they did. He's, bat he's batting right now. And we've got uh, a bulldog down. 
Officials We're going to take the injury timeout, and we'll be back in 60 seconds right here from Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. If you're looking for a variety, try our mix and match deal. Order two or more items for just $5.99 each. Pick from any of our medium two-topping pizzas, delicious oven-baked sandwiches, chicken wings, bread twist with dipping sauce, pasta dishes, specialty chicken, stuffed cheesy bread, or our nine-piece marble cookie brownies. Visit Domino's located at 1000 Loop 304 in Crockett or call them tonight. 936-624-0111. Domino's Pizza, proud to support the Crockett Bulldogs. Nothing feels better in a football game than cheering for a touchdown. You can grab some cheers of your own when you score with Knox Furniture. New furniture, updated appliances, replaced flooring, and comfy new mattresses will make the home team happy. Friendly hometown service, honest prices, free delivery, easy financing. Come see why we've been on the winning team since 1927. Knox Furniture, downtown Crockett. Welcome back as uh, the Bulldogs run uh, their uh, play third down and nine. And uh, East uh, Collins calls his own number. He was looking downfield, Tommy, but uh, good defense there by the Trojans. He runs out of bounds at the 20 three yard line so it's going to bring up fourth and five and uh, Antonio Cruz out for another punt with uh, 445 to go here in this fourth and quarter. Rogers who was hurt earlier back at the uh, 45 yard line to return this punt Cruz and uh, the injured Bulldog was Keyshawn Easterling. We're going to call timeout. Okay well let's take it with them. Bulldogs call a timeout, trailing 40 to nothing. We're back in 60 seconds on KIVY. We're back in 60 seconds on KIVY. When it comes to roofing, no one does it better than A Alpha Roofing. They offer commercial, residential, and industrial type roofs. They offer re roofing and are repair specialists. Matter of fact, they even offer labor and material warranties. Plus, they always offer free estimates. For more information, contact Jared or Jonathan Land, 936 222 5604 or toll free 1 800 427 1055. A Alpha Roofing, the ones to count on when you need that roof repair done. Real estate is a complicated business. It calls for great knowledge and training. So the first move you should make is to call Tires Real Estate. Knowing where to begin is the key to real estate success. Your key is a call to Tires Real Estate at 936-544-3265 or check out their website at tirerealestate.com. Tire Real Estate, David and Patty Tire Brokers, along with agents Mike Thompson, Natalie Commander, and Heather Pierce. Tire Real Estate, your fast lane to a happy ending. Welcome back, Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium. Fourth down and uh, four as uh, Cruz is here for a Cutshaw Chevrolet punt. And that's going to be a good one. That should have a nice bulldog bounce. And it's going to be picked up by a Cold Spring Trojan number one. And he's still on his feet, Tommy. He's back at the 50. Going to be taken uh, down in bulldog territory as uh, Kyron Rogers uh, returns that punt. Broke and about four or five tackles on that return. He did. And that, uh, you know, they they return one earlier. They have returned. They've done very well on returning their punts. Yeah, their special special teams have been very good tonight. Try to get an update on that. Elkhart game. And the Astros are still trailing. Oh, Elkhart Hunting now 14-14. Elkhart can win that game. That was actually up front. Yes. And that's their last game. They've got a bye. Yes. yes. That would make Huntington go to one and four. And we would go to two and three. Basically, we, if Elkhart wins, I think we clinch. Well, I like that. Because let me look at it again. Elkhart, Huntington would go to one and four. The best they could do would be two and four. The worst we could be is two and four, and we got a head to head on them. So if Elkhart beats Huntington tonight, we I think Crockett actually clinches the fourth position in the playoff. Uh -huh. 
But Elkhart would be two and four also. That, yeah. Well, so we're we'll only a three-way tie, but we didn't have the tiebreaker. Because we beat Elkhart. Yeah, we beat them both. I don't know if it goes to a point thing. Probably but we not. would have to still be printed. No, we've already got two wins. Yeah. Yeah, if we, if we beat them, we, we would definitely, we'd definitely go three and three. We'll figure it out. Or somebody, somebody will tell us. And Grape was telling Leon now, 28-14, halfway through the fourth quarter. Pretty sure Lovelady, the start of the fourth quarter, Lovelady leading 38-0 to Cushion. Three minutes and 12 seconds and counting here at the Jack Crock Australian. Tough night tonight, Charlie, 40 to 0 in Coast Green Coast. It is. Ball at the 35 yard line, first and 10, 35 of the Bulldogs. And uh, they just go, he's going to the house. Well, no, Crowley Pierce saved, at the five yard line. saved the touchdown the with 2.51 to go. Crowley hadn't given up. Good job, Crowley. Find that clock, Mr. Bishop. Time we were 9-11. Yeah, being home by 9:30 is doable. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. First and goal to go for for Cold Springs at the six-yard line of the Crockett Bulldogs. Clock still counting. Two uh, twenty-seven. I think they might just need it. They've changed court, quarterback. Uh, they're giving it to. Uh, few guys, you normally don't get a chance to run the ball. Chances here. See if they can get a touchdown. Again, uh, quarterback and now for the Trojans, number 17, Hunter Mullins. So we're running way ahead of schedule and uh, we'll probably join uh, the Lovelady game. I'm not sure where they're at. In they're their they're early in the fourth quarter. Should be able to get the Astros going on 12.90 a.m., 102.9 FM, and 105.5 FM. Second goal to go. And uh, number 51 of the Crockett Bulldogs says, you're not going to score on me. That's Melvin Evans. And he got a good game down there at East Chambers. And East Chambers would be East Chambers leading 27-20 with about 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. Mm. We're going to be finished before they finish the third quarter. So we got a bulldog down. And uh, that is going to be, I believe that's number 13, which is going to be Bedford, Devin Bedford. Astros, uh, bottom of the fifth, Braves batting runner on first, two outs. Braves leading one to zero in the bottom of the fifth. And Tommy, correction there, that's uh, Chapman coming off that's shaken up, not uh, Bedford. Third and goal to go, the ball at the uh, three-yard line. 115 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Again, brought to you by Bruner's Economy Car Center, home of the Big Buck Contest. And uh, there goes the handoff and goes to number That's 22, down. or 32, excuse me. And uh, taking it in from three That's yards out is down. Maxwell Irving. Touchdown. That's going to make it 46 to nothing. So if we don't score here in the next minute and two seconds, we've been shut out in two games back to back and I remember you saying that Tommy, happened in a long time. You minute. saying last week how long has it been since the Bulldogs have been shut out? Well even longer than they shut out two games in a row. I, yeah, I don't remember. Snap is a bad snap. Fire, fire, fire. And, and he the, got fired. <laughs> they're, they're wrapping up number seventeen, the backup quarterback. So the extra point, no good. Brought to you by Cutshaw Chevrolet. Open uh, till two o'clock tomorrow. Keeping it simple and great one. So with 102 to go in this fourth quarter, Crockett trailing 46 to nothing. We're back in 60 seconds. 
It's football season again. Whether you find yourself losing teeth, being tackled on the field, or munching on snacks in the stands, Crockett Dental Care is here to help. We offer dentures and implant services, not to mention partials, fillings, crowns, bridges, as well as professional cleaning. How about that for a play? Our quarterback, Dr. Joseph Holcomb, a 1986 graduate of Crockett High School, as well as our team look forward to knowing you. Call Crockett Dental Care at 936-544-3554 or to request an appointment, visit our website, crockettdentist.com. Lucas Roofing and Sheet Metal on Southwest Loop 304 in Crockett are the experts, roofing with speed and great service. James Lucas has consistently met the needs of East Texans in a professional manner. Whether residential or commercial, you can depend on a free estimate from his staff in a courteous manner. Lucas Roofing will help you with your insurance claim or new construction too. Lucas Roofing and Sheet Metal, covering East Texas thoroughly. 936-544-7992. Back at the Jack, 105 left on the clock here in the fourth quarter. Coach Spring set to kick it off. They've been squibbing it all night long. Probably anticipate just the same thing. They'll squib it down to about the 30-yard line where one of the Bulldogs will pick it up and try to get back up close to midfield. Waiting for the official to blow the whistle. Kicker comes up. And again, just another squib. It's going to be filled by Crowley Pierce at the 35-yard line. He's going to advance up to, oh, he gets up to the 50. Now he might be going. He's to the 30. He says, ah, he's going to be tackled at the 20-yard line. Good return by Crowley Pierce. I thought he was going to go there for a second. Best starting field position for the Crockett Bulldogs. And they've got. And now we've got. Uh, now we got. Oh, that, that official. That's the highest flag I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it's going to be an unsportsmanlike penalty called against the Crockett Bulldogs that's going to bring back. Uh, Would someone go down his lane real yeah, late? This number, I saw a guy go on his backside, but I didn't know what happened. I think it. it's going to be number well, we got 45. A, a player down at the. So, number 45, Bryson Burton, who's been very active tonight. Number uh, 19 is shaking up again, which is Chapman. He's coming off the field. So we were down at the 20 yard line, so I think what you're trying to say, we're probably going to have first down at the 35. It's very possible. We're going to see exactly, they're trying to sort it all out. I didn't, what did he just go down and hit him late? Hit him late. Okay. And then knocked him into another pile of, <laughs> of players. I looked up and he was going backwards. I didn't see who had hit him. So we're going to see what the white hat calls. Unsportsmanlike against Cold Springs and <laughs> against Crockett. Off, uh, ejection. Uh, ejection. So both I players have been ejected. That number 45 for Crockett. I think he's just pointed the wrong direction. I think it's just on Crockett. Yeah. Yeah. It, he just pointed the wrong direction. Yes. So it's not unsportsmanlike. It's, I mean, against the, it's not offsetting penalties. It's against Crockett. They're going to move it back to the 35, and uh, number 45 for the Bulldogs has been ejected. Yeah, <laughs> the freshman that has played a great guy, a great game, and uh, got his money's worth. Yeah, he did. Now he's correcting the call. So Burton will have to set out. That's, well, that's, that's a, a district. You know, districts get together and they discuss that. My brother, you know, yes. he said some districts don't enforce that, so. He might not have to. We'll, we'll know when we get to Trinity. Crockett trailing 46 to nothing. Pierce the quarterback. 55 seconds left. And the senior out there. And uh, number nine going, no, is going backwards by about 10, 10 yards. yards. They'll spot it at the nine yard loss. And I think we might only we're snap it one more time. We're going to have to snap it one more time. So this is Crockett's last home game again uh, next Friday night on the road at Trinity playing for uh, a playoff spot, Tommy, I guess, based on what you're saying. Tough senior night the seniors. Got to come back next week, play hard against Trinity, get the playoffs. Should be the final play of the game. And Crowley's just going to keep it, call his own number. And uh, 14 seconds oh. and counting. No shoving, no pushing. No chippiness out there. We're down to eight seconds, and uh, the coach is calling over. That is going to be the last play. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be it. So our final score here from Monty Jack Driscoll Stadium is the Cold Spring Trojans 46, the Crockett Bulldogs 0.
We're back in 90 seconds with our live uh, broadband postgame report live from Monty Jack Crystal Stadium back in 90 seconds. With the variety of fresh veggie options that are available at Subway, it's easy to add a lot of color to your sandwich. Did you know a six inch sandwich can hold up to two full servings of veggies? Right now at Subway, pick your favorite bread, add your veggies of your choice, and create a masterpiece. That's Subway with two great local locations in Grapeland and in Crockett. See them today. It's time to revive your internet. Get speeds all the way up to 5-1 gig. Plus, right now...